<laughs> no way. Jolly good. <laughs> All right, stop. Just stop. We're not doing this right now. We're not. I could criticize Top Gear forever, especially the new one, which is just... Point being, we're not going to talk about Top Gear. We are going to talk about something totally else. I promise you, the viewer, I will try and prevent myself from making one Top Gear joke. Alright? Good. So a while back, I played a game called Victory Age of Racing, which was a game where you can create your own type of race car. I bought it a while back, and I've played it a couple of times, and it seemed like it was a pretty decent idea that just wasn't really executed too well, but it was a pretty cool game overall. You know, the handling was pretty decent on a controller and on a, on a wheel in particular but it wasn't too great on a keyboard, which was my main gripe of the game. I don't think I ever did a review on it, and I don't plan to, because the team behind it, Vin, 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 oh, um, th them, they're Italian, basically created a new game, which I heard for a little while they were trying to create. It was apparently a procedural generated racing game. And from what the looks of it, it sounded like a really awesome idea. And I actually think that these guys, the guys that are behind it, are real racing enthusiasts that wanted to make a pure fan-made based racing game. So, they finally released a beta for the game, and they called it Racecraft. It's coming out, I don't know when, but this is my first impressions of it since I signed up for beta a while back, and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about it and show you a little bit of footage and overall give you my perspective on the game, going through the good and the bad. So, here it is. Here is my video on that. Starting off with the good. So the good in the game is simple. The hand lead's good, which is kind of a con usually for most racing games, but they actually did a really good job. From what I've heard, they're using the same type of or they got the same type of handling advice from the guys that made the set of Corsa. This game actually has some really good handling. There's no real AI, I did play a little bit with it, but it was not enough to, it's not the thing I was really too interested about. I really liked playing and handling these cars. They only have seven gears and they're sort of like these Formula One S cars, and it's pretty decent for the most part. It's got a turbo, can reach high top speeds, just to name a few. Moving on, the procedural generated system. It works. Literally, you can make whatever type of racetrack you ever want to, but at a cost. You see, you can't go into incredible amounts of detail. It procedurally generates the track you would like to see. So, for instance, if I wanted to see a long track with a lot of corners, I just put a little couple of tabs and it works. And this is a pretty cool system, but say, for example, oh, I want to add, you know, my own type of runoff area or my own type of lighting. Technically, I can't do that. I sort of have to guess what the lighting is going to look like on that track, which can be a problem. But again, that's not really a con. This is just me nitpicking. But the actual system, the procedural generated system, works. Another thing that works is also the penalty system. Yes, there's a penalty system, and I genuinely believe that this is a penalty system that I hope will be the template for most racing games in the future. Basically, what happens is if you run off the track, there's this timer on the on the right of the screen. It's like a little circle. Once it reaches and depletes to zero, it basically counts your lap as invalid. And it basically says you have to do it again. I think this is a really good system for a lot of racing games. And whilst it's not completely in tune there, or I think it should be a little bit shorter than time span going off wide, I do think this is a great step forward. And I do think that with a little bit more playtesting, they could refine it. It could be actually one of the best penalty systems I've seen for a racing game, if not the best. It's a bit stretching at this point, but still, I think it's a pretty awesome penalty system. Let's get to the cons. So, the cons for this game is simple, not enough content. I'm not a particular fan of racing games that don't have a lot of content. This game's no different, but don't forget this is beta, I'm sure they're going to add a lot more. 
Visuals. I do love the visuals of the game, but I'm not a particular fan of one part of the car, which is the steering wheel. It's the same steering wheel I think taken from Victory Age of Great Racing, which is the not too bad, but it's very low poly. I don't know if that suits with me so much. This is, again, just me really nitpicking at this point. And actually, that's about it from the cons. I don't really have too much to say, except that I, that my general impression was that this felt really good. I was trying it on a T300 RS with the F1 spec wheel, and the force feedback felt great. It didn't feel too loose, and the force feedback overall gave me the impression that I was driving a very new type of racing game. I think the general perspective of this game is that this is a game created by people who love motorsport and wish to see it done properly, especially racing games. And I see some pretty cool things coming up in the near future for these guys. To make a racing game is really difficult, so if you really love racing games and would like to try something totally new that you've never seen before, I think this is the game for you to check out. I really, really love this game. And so far my impressions are good. I definitely see myself buying a copy when it does eventually come out. But for now, I really, really want to thank those guys then uh, for everything they've done so far. Because it's a really awesome and special game. Anyway, that's my impressions. If you have the game, please let me know in the comment section below. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Hello everyone, Delta here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and don't forget also to comment below. If you dislike it, be sure to also comment below and let me know what you think. I'm always trying to improve as you can probably expect. And if you like my videos in general, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. If you like any of my other videos, don't forget to go check them out as per usual. Till then, I'll see you all soon and thank you very much for watching. By the way, just notice, I didn't make one single Top Gear note, so I probably should end it on a Top Gear note. Like, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's just, no, it's cringeworthy. I, I can't wait till Amazon brings in the new Top Gear. I really, really cannot wait.